Our conjecture that there is a lost yet once highly advanced ancient civilization could be proven beyond doubt by one continent in particular. Antarctica, for many millennia, this land has been encased, perfectly preserved, laying beneath miles of ancient ice. The Piri Rees map, something which we have discussed in the past, has long been argued to prove just that, long claimed as showing that of the landmass of Antarctica free of ice. If true, it would have been impossible to have created, according to modern paradigm, thought to have originated from the embers of the great fire of Alexandria, this catastrophe, a tragic loss to man's understanding of our own origins. Yet, this map survived, clearly displaying what many believe to be the continent of Antarctica, before becoming what is now a frozen ice cap at the pole of our planet. It is now an incredibly inhospitable place, one of the reasons we feel there may be intact, undisturbed ruins, which may dot the land, known to be the driest place on Earth, and in addition to this compelling possibility of submerged yet highly advanced ruins, there may be many other unexplained anomalies that, due to their incredibly remote geographical placement, across some of the world's now most impenetrable natural obstacles, recording some of the lowest temperatures on Earth, if proven beyond doubt to exist, would be proof of a preserved pre-Ice Age existence for advanced man. Yet due to this immense cold, and the fact that it is a largely unexplored tundra capable of killing even the most experienced of explorers, many things which rest here remain unexplored. Yet just like that of the face of the moon, one must ask the question, just what could be laying there? buried within or resting upon this giant ice sheet many miles deep. Objects just like the anomalies discovered in Roswell, New Mexico in July 1947, which, although strongly argued by officials as that of a United States Army Air Force's balloon which crashed at tremendous velocity at a ranch near Roswell, which many claim was in fact a UFO which crashed, would inevitably be covered up by whatever power was capable of not only visiting such anomaly, but retrieving it. Crashing into the seemingly endless tundra, and our next item of interest could behold just as controversial in origin as that of the causation for what many claim as the Roswell Conspiracy, a truth so controversial only top military personnel would be privy to. This remarkable image taken by satellite clearly displays an as yet unexplored anomaly. Resting at the basin of a hilltop, it presumably crashed into, with its velocity upon impact sliding the mysterious object down the side of the mountain. When other such objects have been discovered in the past, indeed in the same way as that of amateur sleuths, poring over satellite images looking for these exact features, Military vehicles have been later snapped at these same locations, unquestionable proof of the world's government's interest in such discoveries, not only due to the environment, but also its remoteness. Found in permanently frozen areas could mean that if such objects do indeed turn out to be that of an alien craft, could also be in a condition to be successfully reversed-engineered if not repaired by man. A technological explosion would inevitably occur, a lucrative operation indeed. So, we find it curious that several such events have been claimed to have occurred since 1947. Could this also be posited to be as a result of this exact claim scenario? Discovered, retrieved, reverse-engineered, and finally either adapted for military purpose or commercial profits? What is this thing laying far away in the frozen Antarctic? Is it indeed a crashed alien vehicle? We find the anomaly highly compelling.
there are many unexplainable ruins upon our planet, whose age, or indeed true origins, are still an enigma to be unraveled. However, we feel that thanks to ours and many others' astute and devoted research, we do now have a very thorough understanding of past lost civilizations' capabilities. In some areas, there is undoubtedly more than one advanced ancient phase of building work. For instance, we feel that the ancient pyramids of Giza, ancient relics photographed from almost every angle, now, thanks to alternative research and in-depth scientific investigations, shows clear indication of at least three phases. These three phases are also possibly evident at many other ancient sites, in particular Peru. What's important regarding these phases is that although they have undoubtedly been accomplished at vastly different times in history, they are all incredibly advanced. In fact, they are far more advanced than any ancestral attempts to recreate them, which can be found throughout our own thoroughly academically documented history. This throws up some controversial implications. For example, did this ancient civilization, just like ours, develop to a point where they were capable of space travel? Or perhaps, a more interesting posit, were these most sophisticated and indeed ancient ruins left by a civilization who actually traveled here from another planet to begin with? Perhaps Mars? Since its discovery, Mars has been the subject of countless theories regarding the possibility of past life having once flourished upon its surface. There are even those who have proposed and relentlessly searched for an ancient advanced human civilization having once inhabited its red landscape. We have indeed shared a number of Martian theories, supported by compelling physical evidences from its surface including the mystifying cleaning events which have been experienced by each rover while still able to move on the planet. Although many of the most compelling, possibly ancient artifacts found upon the Martian surface have indeed been covered by numerous sleuths, we feel the following object's possible identity may have been overlooked. Pictured within a NASA image known as Sol 746, Presumably taken on the 746th day, it shows a perfect sphere resting in the red dust. Although noticed, its puzzling characteristics, surprisingly, have yet to be linked with one of the most recognizable UFO shapes of the modern age, the metallic sphere. These objects, not only witnessed, documented, and video recorded on nearly every continent on Earth, they have also been the object most often recorded on many inches of unexplained NASA footage from low Earth orbit, lunar, and now, we feel, much further afield. Could this mysterious sphere actually be a crashed metallic UFO? Although spheres appear in nature under the identification of land pearls, its origins would have involved tremendous amounts of water something that has not been seen on Mars for an extremely long time. Could this mysterious sphere, photographed by NASA, actually be that of a crashed metallic UFO? We find the proposition highly compelling. imagine because I have been the team's biggest skeptic. I was kind of prepared of finding just a stone. For me it has been an amazing experience, I must say. The team were completely dwarfed by the mysterious object which is about 60 meters in diameter and lying almost 80 meters down on the bottom of the Baltic Sea. There are visible formations on top of the object which are set at a 90 degree angle and look like passageways or walls, as well as something that looks like it could be a staircase.
The Baltic Sea Anomaly is an anomaly in the best sense of the term, it is a 70 meter long object, with numerous sharp edges and right angles prevalent throughout its structure, with a set of stairs on one side, as if deployed from its shape and left to ruin. Sonar has also found drag marks behind the object, samples have confirmed it is made of metal, geologist Steve Weiner said that according to his tests, the object was not a geological formation, suggesting that the structure was in fact made from metals which nature could not reproduce itself. Electrical equipment also has mysterious issues when near to the anomaly. Professional Diver Stefan Hadjaborn, part of the Ocean X team said, anything electric out there, and the satellite phone as well, stopped working when we were above the object, then when we got away about 200 meters, it turned on again. Lindbergh isn't convinced that the object is actually an ET spacecraft. In response to one question about what the object might be, Lindbergh responded, I think it is very odd in its shape. It is tough to give an explanation as to what it might be exactly, since different scientists have many different theories. Whatever it is, it is something we do not usually find in nature. Sitting in the dark cold depths of the Baltic Sea. It is thought to be over 140,000 years old, Ocean X is currently investigating the object, I will keep you updated. because I have been the team's biggest skeptic. I was kind of prepared of finding just a stone. For me, it has been an amazing experience, I must say.